My introduction into the world of the Rothschild giraffe begins in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. It's an unlikely place for giraffes, but on the outskirts, eight semi-tame Rothschilds live in considerable comfort at the famous Giraffe Manor and Education Centre. The manor's modelled after a Scottish hunting lodge and was originally built as a private home. But in 1974, the stage was set for the creation of the first ever Rothschild sanctuary when Daisy was rescued from land being cleared for farming. In those days, capture was done on horseback with lasso and plenty of physical effort. Who would have guessed that almost 30 years later, Daisy's memory would live on to become the figurehead for giraffe conservation in the wild. Today, the sanctuary helps finance itself as a hotel where guests and owner Rick Anderson share their space with Daisy's offspring, who, it has to be said, have an insatiable appetite for horse nuts. This is one of the most famous of the giraffes in the world. This is her in the front cover of Harper's. This is Arlene. Korean magazine made the front cover there again. Is that you, honey? Can't tell who that is. So they're quite used to it. They're very, very sweet to work with. Very, very beautiful. Slightly hairy lips. What's her character like? She's the gentlest of the lot. Her mother was a very small giraffe, and unfortunately we lost her giving birth the second time. And I think maybe that's had something to do with her character, that she lost her mother at quite a young age. But she's always been very, very sweet, very, very gentle. But was she bottle-reared? or No, she'd grown. No, she, she had, she had just sort of weaned. weaned. So she never needed bottle. Have they all got very different personalities? Well, I would think very different personalities, but they're def different animals. I mean, some are gentler than others. Some come quick, some are slow. Uh, some are just very wriggle and, and stand back. I mean, Jock is a very gentle male. Yeah. Um, I think it's because he's so happy here. But yes. uh... They all seem happy here. And with an endless supply of horse nuts, why not? So sweet and so delicately taken and the sweetest breath, like a kind of little sweet pony. You are a sweet girl, because it can't be much more fun not taking it out of my mouth, but I'm going to do one more. How fitting that the word giraffe comes from the Arabic zarafa, meaning charming or lovely one. The opportunity to get this close to giraffes is simply too good to waste. So in 1983, an education center was opened in the grounds. Its main aim is to provide free education to local school children, to generate a passion for wildlife and an understanding of the environment. Last year, that message was given to 45,000 children. Rothschild giraffes can attain a height of almost 18 feet and live to 25 years of age. They have clear and well-defined patches on the skin, but probably the simplest way to tell a Rothschild from Maasai and reticulated giraffe is by the lack of markings below the knee, giving Rothschilds the appearance of wearing long white socks.